Welcome once again, 2017 Henry Ford Endoscopic Science and Skull Bay Surgery course. This will be the second edition since I've been here. We have an encore from uh, Dr. Pruel Goyle. He'll be here today and uh, Dr. Adam Rourke will also be with us today. So welcome guys, thanks for coming. We're gonna locate the anterior ethmoid and pseudo palatine arteries. And then Drs. Rourke and Rock will talk about endoscopic orbital and skull base anatomy. All right, so we'll start off with the maxillary signs. We medializing the middle turbinate here. This is a right nasal cavity, the uncinate here. And then this is actually just moving deeper in. That's actually the bulla there, uh, uncinate here, covering up most likely the natural osteum. Once again, in that next section of cells, as well as the skull base superiorly. This is a point in time where you're gonna to start to identify the uh, natural osteum, perhaps. For this intracranial, intranasal anatomy. If you, want to, if you read those two papers and you have the patience to get through both of them, one's by Al Roten and everybody knows Roten's papers, this optic nerve here. So, I'm trying to give you, get you a sense of this top and bottom anatomy from, from, behind, from the cranial side. Entoscopic skull base surgery really just starts with very thorough and good sinus surgery. And, and the other critical factor for a good endoscopic skull base surgery is that collaborative relationship we have with neurosurgeons or in some cases with our oculoplastics colleagues. And we're going to be able to clear that tumor entirely from this area, at least in a gross way. Uh, certainly not microscopic clearance without resecting these structures, but with the tumor on the carotid, that's unrealistic. Welcome everyone to the dissection portion. We're back. Uh, we're just gonna breeze through five minutes of just rehashing the dissection so you guys uh, see them again. Uh, really take your time today, get the noses cleaned out, identify all your landmarks, think through it, use your dissection manuals as needed, uh, and then ask us questions. We've got some great guys here, and females of course, but teaching-wise guys. Um, and so let's start off with the maxillary entrostomy, right? First step of sinus surgery. The sinus and skull base surgery cadaver course is a unique opportunity for the residents to apply the anatomic knowledge they've acquired over the years through countless hours of reading various sources such as articles, book chapters, and dissection manuals, as well as through their experiences of shadowing or performing live endoscopic sinus and skull base surgery. Once they step into the cadaver lab, they take the dissections into their own hands, and while we as educators are there for questions and support, they have complete autonomy over the basic or advanced surgical approaches they choose to perform. Their experience here is really only limited by their level of curiosity and their desire to learn. For prospective resident applicants, please take a look at our department's residency website to get an idea of the opportunities available to you at Henry Ford. And I specifically invite you to view the rhinology content as well as my YouTube channel entitled Henry Ford Rhinology and Endoscopic Skull Bay Surgery. Here you'll find the full array of basic and advanced endoscopic sinus and skull base cases we perform here at Henry Ford. And these videos serve as excellent references for residents from which to learn during their residency. Again, thank you very much for watching. 